come a long way in a short time. Technology is taking over. Maybe not quite like how Terminator predicted. But we live in a world where we now have a working hoverboard. Something we could have only dreamed of years ago. Along with the first flying car, are we destined to be controlled by technology? How much has this affected our everyday life? We've asked around to get the views on the evolution of technology. To find out if we all have a common virus. How do you feel technology has affected photography? Uh, I think probably the first thing you, the that is noticeable about technology is it has made it uh, cheap and affordable for, for the mass population. There are a wide wide range of digital cameras available in everyday life now, you know, you've, you've got them in things like this, even your phone, um, and uh, they're, they're, they're fairly high quality even on a phone now. Um, whereas, you know, a relatively short time ago, even a very poor quality, you know, 0.2 megapixel camera cost a lot of money, um, but thanks to thanks to new technologies, you know we have uh, relatively cheap, high quality cameras, a bit, a, bit, a bit like the one that you're using there. Technology is even affecting the way that we learn in schools. But what do the teachers have to say about this? As a teacher, what technologies do you use most, and and why? We use a software package called Promethean and I use that in the whiteboard quite a lot. I mean I also use things like PowerPoint but uh, I think it's getting to the stage where PowerPoint even is getting a bit outdated now. Obviously I use Word documents etc all the time and PDF documents on the whiteboard too. Uh, I suppose the great thing with that is that I can store all of these. I don't have to have big drawers, big boxes full of things, you know, papers and all the rest of it. I can just store these uh, either online or in my own documents folder. Is there anything you look forward to in the future uh, regarding technology? Well, I was kind of hoping for an anti-gravity bike for Christmas this year, you know, but I think I'm still going to have to wait a few years. Uh, however, there is a lot of spectacular stuff that's actually on the horizon that uh, that is already here, if you like, you know, um, <laughs> you know things that would have been seemed impossible even like 10, 20 years ago, like invisibility cloaks and stuff like that that can bend light, and and uh, there's you know I've seen a, a while back a, a demonstration of a camera uh, the, called the Femto camera that can shoot at the speed of light, which is is quite a curious thing. Uh, seeing light photographed at light speed is, is quite, a, quite an astonishing thing. So, yeah, um, uh, there's, there's obviously a lot, a lot of things out there that they're working towards that, that, that will change civilization in just the same way as the television changed the population and stuff like that. They're likely to have as big an impact. So, yeah, I, I hope I'm ready to see some of it, you know. <laughs> It'd be good.